Uh, yeah, we're, I think, number one, we're just excited to be out there and hopefully having a normal season this year. Um, but we've got a lot of new new talent in, and I think the team is much more cohesive than it was last year, especially at this time, beginning of the season. So we're excited to just um, get out there and see what we can do against another team. And speaking of it, you welcome to put in a lot of new, new faces onto the field, but you do welcome back some big names, Kylie Davis, Ashton Whittle. Um, Lula Mitchell is back. In Elizabeth Passavad. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've got, you know, a very small amount of upperclassmen, uh, two seniors and two super seniors. But um, they've they've definitely stuck with it and been committed to this program. So we're we're excited to have them back. They're going to be, you know, obviously impact players. Um, we have we do have some depth uh, with the goalies this year. So that'll be nice. And also with newer players, it offers a lot more depth. We can get we've we've had a few injuries, so we just need to get healthy, and then we'll have a lot more depth. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean Peyton's playing midfield for us, and um, we've got a strong strong midfield. I think last year that's where we lacked a little bit as far as some depth. So um, it's nice to have you know a couple groups that can go in and and we can get the legs going. Elizabeth, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we've definitely had to step up and holding everybody accountable just so we can push towards the same goal that we've had set for our season. And I would say that on defense, because there's only really two upperclassmen along with Lula being a goalie and then two upperclassmen on the defensive end, uh, it's definitely been a huge leadership role, just trying to work everybody in the same direction and try to bring together the cohesiveness that we've been looking for. So um, definitely having to step up in that regard, but it's been great so far. Hey, talk about your transition. Uh, what does it mean? How is you know, starting off and making your thing? What does it mean for you as players? I mean, I'm super excited to be playing at this level. And um, I think the upper class one have done a great job of kind of taking us under their wing and showing us like the way and um, they've done a great job creating a family environment so I'm not too nervous because I know that they've got my back and stuff so I'm just super excited to see what we got. Questions? So the fact that you did take a, you know, a little bit longer to get the season started with some new kids, has it kind of helped having a few extra practices or a lot of extra practices I'm guessing to get ready to, to play? Um, I mean, personally, I love that we have a big team. I was on the team two, two and a half years ago where we had a very small roster, and it was definitely hard to keep everybody healthy. And having a big team and so much depth is great because you can work with so many different people. Um, so I think it's been amazing having a big team. And, yeah, it's been great so far. The more practice, the better to yeah. get you ready. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've been able to um, actually take some time to insert some other things we've been working on. Last year we worked a lot with team culture, this year as well, and um, we also have done a lot of work with Mentality Zones, working with um, Tiff Jones as a mental skills um, professional, and our team has just really embraced that that type of, absorbed that type of um, mentality, I guess, and so we've it's been nice to have the time to do that kind of thing where um, you know, that's as important as being out on the field, if not more. Um, sometimes we just don't always take the time to do that. And I think um, we've had two scrimmages. So we scrimmaged Westminster a few weeks ago, and then uh, we went down to Boulder and played their club on Saturday. And it was good. I mean, score was a little uneven in our favor, um, but they were physical, and we really needed that, you know, to, to mix it up. So it's good. It's something that a lot of time teams, you don't have time or you don't have the availability. What all has that kind of helped transfer onto the field? Yeah, I mean, I think working with a mental skills coach has been amazing. I think you learn a lot about yourself individually on and off the field. Um, personally, it's helped me like in my personal life outside of lacrosse. 
But um, transferring it onto the field, I think it's been amazing because you really get to understand your teammates better and understand, like, we talk about our green, blue, and red zones, and it's kind of cool to identify, like, when a teammate is in their red zone where they're kind of getting a little hot-headed and how you can help them adapt to, like, calm down and be back in their blue zone, which is, like, focused and locked in to what we need to be doing. And then, like, our green zone is pretty much just, like, almost being a little lackadaisical and just not really being like focused or locked into what we're doing for practice. So it's interesting to see how different players um, get into the right zones and how they kind of steer away from them and stuff and just trying to make sure that we're all in that blue zone so our training is the most beneficial. Yeah, uh, personally, I think it's helped a lot because um, I get in my head a lot when I play and now it's like kind of there's like how to's of how to get back into that blue zone when I go red and stuff. And I think that's helped a lot. And like Huey said, it's really helped um, for us to be able to identify when our teammates are in the wrong zone. So that way we can all be practicing in blue at all times so we can get the best out of our practice. What, what kind of decided, you know, made you decide, hey, we've got this available, let's do it or? Yeah, I think, I mean, I have a degree in sports psychology, so it's always been important to me. And, um, but I, I think it's good for them to hear another voice. And, and Tiff Jones is just incredible professional um, in, in that realm. And the opportunity to work with her a bit, um, it's a lot of video sessions, but it's also, we've had some, and we'll have some more upcoming sessions with her um, just on, via Zoom. And um, I just think the players have really connected with her. And, um, she has some, you know, some great stuff to offer, but um, also is, I think, very likable and, like I said, connects with the players, and so they feel, you know, comfortable trying the things that she's asked them to do. Question of the week? No, she's. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> if you won. You thought you'd escaped. <laughs> if you won the lottery today, what would you do with the winning? Travel, <laughs> hands down. I would travel as many places as possible. I would definitely travel too. Hmm. Mm, pressure's on. <laughs> I feel like I might open a dog rescue. <laughs>